I think it's quite interesting in the sense of that, uh, the type of characters that you have in this play, uh, the fact that it's sort of a patriotical, you know, uh, approach in terms of Pops and uh, this uh, dysfunctional family that he's put together, basically. You know, he has, uh, it's almost like a person who, who uh, you know, stray pets. <laughs> he, has, he has stray people, you know, in his, in his house, you know, that uh, he's uh, catering to, giving food to, giving shelter to, and there are people who aren't your ordinary folks that you would have uh, in your household, drug addict, you know, uh, um, and Lulu, who is just a, a bundle of brightness, <laughs> you know. And then there's his son, you know, who uh, he um, is very hard on. Um, I believe he's probably hard on him from, uh, from a sense of his own failure to, uh, to uh, uh, give a, a, a solid foundation to uh, Junior, because Junior's been in jail a number of times, and uh, Pops is a cop, you know, and so it's, uh, it's a, his failing as a father. And I think he carries a whole lot of things with him. It's very interesting. And also, it's a dark comedy, you know, in terms of that it's uh, the way that life uh, has its twists and turns and life that comedians make comedy about, you know, in a lot of ways. So this is a dark comedy. It, 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 it's, it's, it's a play without any punchlines, basically, because it, the punchlines are basically the life. It's, life itself.